Guys, did you know you can remove everything from your credit report in 14 days? You heard me right. I said 14 days. That's two weeks. And that is no fluff, no bluff, guys. I'm going to show you in today's video how to remove every living negative item on your credit report in 14 days. Guys, stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you're new to the channel, I'm Credit Coach Q, and I create the first cloud-based software that allows you to put your credit repair experience into your own hands. If you're new to the channel, guys, I'm super, super excited because I have a banger. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to remove every negative item on your credit report in less than 14 days. But before we get into the video, guys, please like and subscribe to the channel. It allows us to reach a wider audience. It allows YouTube to push this content within their algorithm and allows us to leave these lights on, guys. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Now, let's dive straight into the meat and potatoes of this video now if you have anything derogatory in your credit report I mean anything negative charge-offs late payments bankruptcies medical bills guys you name it please go over to mycreditapproved.com it's the website and the software that I was telling them, telling you about that allows you to put the full experience to your own hands guys people are removing thousands of dollars worth of debt by themselves they are no longer using credit repair companies that are putting this information in this experience into their own hands and appreciate on a deeper level guys please go to mycreditapproved.com check out the software and start removing these items guys if you have anything derogatory on your credit report we're going to talk about how to remove all of your negative items and I mean collections charge off late payments any of those items that you have pertaining on your credit report in 14 days so let's dive straight into the meat and potatoes now the first thing that you have to do and understand when it comes to this method because this is going to be a secret hack guys now I have taught hacks uh, about credit uh, before obviously but this is going to be a special one because it's sort of a trap right now I have a bankruptcy removal video that uh, basically have a similar trapping mechanism when it comes to doing this hack correctly right now it's not the same strategy but it's still pertaining to setting a trap for the credit bureaus and basically uh, yielding the reward for it right so the first thing you have to understand is that these letters that we're going to send out on your behalf have needs to be certified mail in 24 hour shipping so you want the letters to get to the credit bureau as soon as possible so you can meet that 14 day window that is important guys now if you don't want to send out your credit um, letters within a, a 24 hour window you can send it out a priority mail and the time frame would be probably 45 days 30 45 days to get the results you want now let's dive straight into um, the meat and potatoes of, of actually how to start the method right now I'm going to basically go into my back office and give you guys a full rundown a step-by-step -step on how you can actually not only use this strategy but use the software that I was telling you about to remove these items guys like this software that I created is probably the best software in the industry I, I honestly think that is best um, but I am humble when it comes to uh, my baby but in regards to all of that guys I'm going to show you how to use the software software and exactly how to pick out the letter that you want and use it step by step to remove these items guys stay tuned welcome back to the channel guys now like I said we're going to set a trap for the credit bureaus to remove any and everything right before we get into the trap I want to give you guys a full breakdown um, on what to expect going forward so it makes sense right so first thing first um this is going to be the my credit approved software that I told you about in the beginning the software that I created that allow you guys to remove everything um, this is going to be the easiest and the fastest way to get those results and to set that trap essentially right okay so the first thing you want to do is log into the my credit proof app import your negative items once you import everything the screen will look like this we're going to scroll down we're going to go to create letter now while everything is loading you want to basically go to round two and scroll all the way down this new trap letter is going to be all the way at the bottom it should be the very last one um and then for example purposes we're not going to dispute everything right we're just going to dispute one item and I want you guys to understand one thing first right I want you want to you guys to understand one thing before we go forward with that this is going to be the credit report that you're going to need to look at 
prior, right? And what you want to do is make sure that you pay attention to the date is open, the last reported date, and the last active date, guys. This is going to give you the inconsistencies that you're going to need to set the trap, essentially, right? So going back to um, the dispute letter, we're going to scroll down and dispute one item, okay? And as you can see, all three letters where all three bureaus are already uh, formulated and populated into the software and ready to go. Now, as you can see, this is going to be the vague letter. Now, I say we're only going to dispute one item, the target, and that's the item, the only item that imported over, right? Um, but listen to the letter and the verbiage. It's going to be very vague and very simplistic to start the process. This is going to be the first letter you send off. You're not going to ask them to delete it. You just want them to check it and to do a thorough check on your credit report to make sure that everything pertaining to the items is correct. Um, so I say, I received the copy of my credit report with the intention of trying to improve my credit and take care of responsibilities. And I noticed a few accounts that I wanted a little more explanation on. I'm not saying that they are reporting right or wrong. I'm saying that I am not 100% sure if they are. I also read something called a Fair Credit Reporting Act where it said by law. Now, guys, you want to make sure that you are paying attention to the way this letter is written. This, the letter is written as if it's by a consumer, not an attorney, not a paralegal, not anyone professional is written by someone that's actually you. Now, the CFPB have did an investigation on the credit report and they're not responding to um, letters sent by credit repair companies. They're not responding to letters sent by um, anyone professional because most of the time they send out templates and it makes the letter disingenuous. So that's why this letter sounds like that and is written like this, right? Okay, so some of the people reporting things on me, I have, I've never heard of which made me write to you all. Are you familiar with something called the 15 USC? C section 1681 IA. I heard that you can't provide proof. If you can't provide proof, these accounts must be deleted. So this is the letter that we're going to send out. So we're basically asking them to check everything on the credit report and make sure that everything is correct, right? Now, like I said, you are going to pay attention to the date that was open, the last reported date, and the last active date. Now, the reason I say you have to pay attention to this is because these are going to give you the inconsistencies that I stated before. And as you can see, the date that it was open open for TransUnion that said is 12.07. On experience it says 12.01 and Equifax it says 12.01. Last reported date says 4.22. Sorry about that guys. Yeah, so the last reported date says 4.22 and 4.01. So as you can see guys, these dates have inconsistencies all the way through and everything in your credit report, as you know, needs to be 100% accurate, 100% timely, and 100% verifiable. So right now with this letter, you're asking them to verify everything on your credit report, right? Okay. Now, once you send out the letter and basically you print this out and you're going to send it off. And once you do that, guys, you are basically going to put yourself in a great position because they're going to do a full check on your credit report. Now, during the check, what they're also going to do is basically give you a result within the first 30 days. Now, the, the results are going to come back and don't be too hung up on the first month results, because like I said, it's a trap. And as you know, once you set, you have to actually set a trap in order to actually yield um, what you actually trapping, right? So this letter is the trap. You're asking them to verify everything on your credit report. And if they don't verify it, they are in not in accordance to the CFPB um, or the FCRA, which is the Fair Credit Reporting Act, right? So this letter, they're going to verify everything. They're going to send you a response back. And the response is going to be two things. It's either going to be deleted or verified as accurate, right? And either or is a good scenario for you if they delete it awesome go on to the next item if they don't delete it then the trap has been set um if they do not change the items on your credit report if you refresh this credit report the following month and the date still says 1207 1201 inconsistency last reported 422 422 401 inconsistency 422 1201 and 401 so guys if your report is still seeing these inconsistencies then obviously Obviously, they haven't verified the debt, right? They haven't verified the debt as accurate because that has to be inaccurate. One of them cannot be uh, accurate if the other one is saying a different number. So what you want to do is you, next time you see this, you want to head over to the CFP website. And this is what it looks like, guys, is the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. And these are the people that you have a better chance of getting the items removed. It's not the credit bureaus, guys. The credit bureaus only respond to 2% of the dispute
dispute letters they actually get, but the CFPB have to respond to everyone and do a thorough walkthrough of all of the investigation. So what you want to do is you want to go to start a complaint and you basically want to start a new complaint and you put your information in right here, right? And then once you put your information in, it's going to send you over to a, um, a account where you have to basically put all of the information pertaining to the, to the investigation. So I'm going to log in. I'll be right back. Give me one sec. So basically you, you going to actually log after you log in, it's going to look like this screen here. You want to click credit report and then you want to go credit, credit reporting, click next, let it load up. And then you want to go with improper use of your credit report, right? Reporting company, use your credit report in proper. Yes, sir. Have you already tried to fix this problem with the company? Yes, you have. And we're going to scroll straight down guys. This is the recipe for the trap that needs to be set. Now, once you get here, you want to put a description of what happened. And you also want to put the example of how it happened, right? Um, you want to actually ask, tell them that you basically asked the credit bureaus to do a verification of everything on your credit report. And they did, they stated that everything was accurate and you did a thorough research yourself and found improper inaccuracies on the credit report even after they did the thorough research right and this is what you want to put so what you want to do guys is put all of your account information here so everything that you are disputing you want to put the account name you want to put the account number and you want to put anything else that you feel like can actually be added to the account now once you do that as you can see this is what is already here the account name the account number and the company's name right you want to put make sure you put that there you can copy and paste from the software directly over to here but once you do that you also want to add this right you want to add that in accordance to the fair credit reporting act uh, com uh convergent account one two three four has violated my rights right uh, and this is going to be the actual account number there 15 usc 1681 section 602 eight states that i have the right to privacy and you actually do now these are sections from the credit reporting act and these are the laws that govern how they are supposed to place items on your credit report in 15 usc 1681 section 604 section 2 it also states a consumer reporting agency cannot furnish an account without your written instructions and also guys this is going to be the source of the account essentially for the for your removal right you are basically telling them the sections inside of the fair credit reporting act that govern the situation and with the evidence of them not doing a proper investigation along with these acts guys do you have no problem with getting these items removed like i said guys so many different clients are using our software and these strategies to remove tens of thousands of dollars of debt on their credit report every month guys and these methods and these strategies work for any and every person so guys all you have to do is really just stay diligent download the software it's not a downloadable just sign up for the software and use this video to basically put your credit in the best position as it possible we can right um what would you like to be a fair resolution delete the account please and that's what you want you want to make sure that they are deleting the account right here you can add all of the documents that they sent back showing that everything is validated and you can also send a screenshot of this account for an example or all the accounts along with all of the inaccurate dates that's on there guys this is how you get these items removed you basically set a trap Form and you put them in a position where they have no other cho choice but to be caught with their pants down. And if they do an investigation and if the investigation is inaccurate, the CFPB really do not have no other choice but to really delete the account going forward. So you want to add all of those documents. You want to add the credit report. You want to add the screenshot of the inaccuracies. And you want to add the, um, the response of them saying that it has been validated, right? And you want to click next. Let that load up. And then we're going to go here. The first account you want to uh, at is TransUnion, guys. Let's do yes. There you go. You want to put your information in and yes. Okay. And then do you want to do another one? Equifax. Put your information. Yes, you have. You tried to fix it. Yes. And the last one is Experian. Okay. 
and you click next guys you want to put the information in as it pertains and just continue to go down now, i don't want to go um log completely in because this is my cfpb i created one to do this video and i don't know it was is down below so i don't want to uh, scroll down no further but guys this is the, the fifth out of the step stuff you don't have to add any more sauce you just scroll down and finish the complaint and send it over guys and i guarantee you that the guy that the information that you are going to present in the evidence that you're going to present to your case for the consumer financial protection bureau is going to get these items removed directly and that's how you remove these items within a 14 day process guys if you have any other questions please let us know we definitely help with the um dispute process um we also help with actually guiding you with the software as well just let us know um in the comments and also uh let us know in the email below if you want to set up a consultation you can do that as well but until next time guys take care of your credit and take care of yourself credit coach q out